Hi there, my name is Lime, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create your very own Unturned 3.0 server. The first step you guys are going to want to do is head over to your guys' is the description down below, and you guys are going to want to go to this link. From there, you guys can go ahead, scroll down a bit, and we're going to want to click this link here. And in this case, it automatically opens for me. We're going to want this exe. In this case, I'm just going to close out of this. Next, there's going to be also another link, and it's we're going to want to go ahead and download that. That is going to contain these two files here. One's going to allow us to be able to update our unturned server and also get the files without being able to have to run the interface of Steam CMD. It'll just run it for us. It's quite great. This will allow us to be able to start our unturned server. And let's say if we go ahead and go save and shut it down, it's automatically going to boot back up. It's pretty great instead of just shutting it down and then you have to manually start it. So um, those are down in the description. Now let's, after that, we're just going to go ahead and minimize our browser. And now we're going to want to navigate to our downloads folder. In this case, Steam CMD is here. I'm going to right click it and I'm going to extract it. Upon it being extracted, we're going to get the exe. We can just go ahead and drag that to our desktop. From there, we're going to either choose, put it on my C drive or F drive. If you guys have multiple drives, you guys choose where you guys want to do. In this case, I'm just going to put it on my C drive as it is a SSD. From there, we're going to, go, going to want to go ahead, right click, click on new, click on folder, and we're just going to go ahead and call this CMT. From there, we can go ahead, double click it, and to be able to drag the exe in. We're going to run this exe, put it over to the side, and let it do its thing. From there, we're going to go back to our C drive and create another folder, and we're just going to call this unturned. Go ahead and open that, and we're going to drag both of the bat files in. We're going to let this finish over here. Upon this showing here, we can just go ahead and type quit. Once that is done, now we can go ahead and now let's say we want to update unturn dash updater. And in this case, let's say if you guys went ahead and you guys named your guys' unturn folder here a different name. You guys are going to want to go ahead and reflect that name right here. Let's say if you guys named your Steam CMD a different name, you guys are going to want to reflect it here. From there, you guys are going to want to go ahead. We can leave it as where you're going to Steam CMD and unturn is there. We're totally fine. From there, we're going to, we can just go ahead and X out of it, go back to our unturn folder. And now we're going to want to go ahead and run this. This is going to take some time. It's going to depend on your internet speed and stuff like that. And so we're just going to give it some time. Once it's done, I will get back to you and we'll go from there. I am officially back. Now we can be a hundred percent certain that this is complete by seeing all this down below. From there, you guys can go ahead and X out of this. From there, what you guys are going to want to go ahead and run this dot bat file here. Upon doing that, it's your server is going to boot. This is going to be a complete vanilla server. We're not going to go ahead and go modify it quite yet and add the rocket mod module or an open mod module. We're just going ahead and we're going to keep with what it is. And in the next videos, I'll, I'll teach you guys how to install both of those and wherever you guys uh, want to go from there. So in this case, our server has successfully went ahead and booted. And so we can check that by typing save and that will save our server. In this case, we can go ahead and shut it down by typing shut down and then enter. From there, it automatically boots back up. In this case, we can just go ahead and exit out of it. Upon exiting out of it, we can go ahead and know that our server is down. And then in the next video, I'll go ahead and teach you guys how to set a server name and different techniques. It's pretty cool. Catch you guys in the next time.